It's June 2024. Even though it's not my life purpose, I'm finding it quite fun. I'm in the shopping center. I work in the Mexican food place and I'm rolling burritos. I realize it's an art, you know, to pack in all the meat, the salad, and then rolling it up so it doesn't spill out. I find it quite satisfying and it's just a bit of fun, isn't it? Talking to the customers. But then I would turn to my left and I would hear what my co-workers, the people that I'm working with, every time I get the satisfaction of rolling a packed burrito, I would turn and I would hear several times every five minutes oh i hate this job oh i hate my life oh i hate the manager oh i don't want to i don't want to do this job oh i hate the customers i hate burritos and even though i'm finding it fun that really drags me down I try to meditate when I'm on shift so it doesn't affect me and I also tr do my best to not complain. I, I, I do my best to like, if I'm feeling tired or just not with it today, I do my best to continue to smile and just not complain because if I complain, that affects the other people that I'm in contact with, the people that I work with, the customers. So then when I hear it, when I hear that someone doesn't like the job and I turn to my right, there's gossip. I turn to my left, oh, I hate my life. Even though I find rolling burritos fun and I like my life because I'm surrounded with people and these negative sayings, naturally that's just going to bring me down as well. As much as I try to smile, as much as I try to not complain, simply putting it, it brings me down. I've worked other shopping center jobs. So right now I'm in the Mexican food place. I've worked in the Starbucks making coffee and I worked in the Urban Outfitters, you know, the clothing shop. Even though it's different things, you know, burritos, coffee, clothes, it's the same things that I'm hearing. I'm, you know, having a good time making burritos, making coffee, folding clothes. And then I would turn to the people next to me who I'm working with. And naturally with these jobs, no one dreams to become someone who works in the shopping center. No one, as a kid, you know, as a kid, people, kids grow up and they dream to be like an astronaut or just not at the shopping center, their, their dream is not to be working in the shopping center. So naturally, when you come across these jobs, yeah, we hear it, you know, escape the nine to five, be your own boss, boss lady, um, escape the matrix. So we understand all of that and we can appreciate what the message is saying. But the reason we should actually try to escape these typical jobs is the, the surrounding, your environment. You're no better than the space you're in. So if your environment is, you turn to your left and right, and it's just people complaining about the situation, you can, I can be as happy and meditating as much as I can, but simply putting it, I can't go beyond my environment and I can't go beyond people constantly being negative. And I, 
I try hard to um I don't just want to be like oh just be positive bro like when people are telling me a complaint about their life or the job I do my very best to listen I don't try to be like oh get a better job then or like you know I don't try to give them a solution I I just I'm just like ah oh, I hear you oh that yeah that that's annoying isn't it um but you're no better than your surroundings you can't really go beyond your environment and if you're constantly around this environment where even though you're having fun folding clothes and making coffee and making burritos you cannot escape other people letting you down if every moment and I'm not even kidding every 5 minutes I you know my like I would always hear a complaint sometimes from the customers but most of the time is the people that I'm working with and because I'm in the same situation I'm in the same job role like you know I'm a barista they're a barista I'm folding clothes they fold clothes I make burritos they make burritos I'm in the same position as them so then that really drags me down because you know I'm already trying to do my best <laughs> to meditate like I'm in the same position as them like I don't dream to become a worker in the shopping center I'm in the same position as them so when I hear it every 5 minutes that oh I hate this job oh I hate customers oh I don't want to do this job or oh, I hate the manager oh my gosh she does sleeping with them and other wet drama and gossip and oh I don't like this person and that and surrounding yourself with this other people's beliefs other people's gossip other people complaining at the end of the shift even though I'm I didn't really do anything all I did on my shift was make coffee and fold clothes that bit I like because it's just super easy come on like compare like I'm trying to run my business as well so when I come out of my business headache mindset and then I go to this job where all I do is fold clothes that is so like it's so easy it's so easy for me but when I'm constantly hearing other people's complaints at the end of the shift that's when I feel that's where it drains me not that the fact not the fact that i've been on my feet the whole day but it's just the fact that i'm literally listening to the complaints and the thing is these complaints they're valid they're valid complaints <clears throat> often times uh, when these people are complaining to me like they tell me all about their terrible childhood and and their terrible wives and their terrible lives outside of work so i understand like dang oh bro like i'm here for you like i'm sorry like so, so, i'm sorry about that but at the end of the shift that's what actually drains me having to listen to the negativity that other people bring So that is why you should escape the matrix and escape the 9 to 5 and and all of that but the more that you put yourself in this environment of negativity and complaining that's going to drain you at the end of your shift you're going to be so drained and this is why you then watch porn play video games or scroll on social media to escape the draining day job i've worked in 
a few different shopping center jobs now, you know, these minimum wage jobs. And the complaints are all the same from when I'm making burritos, coffee or folding clothes. The gossip, the work drama, the complaints, they're all the same. You probably have noticed this as well in your in your experiences of different jobs. People don't like their wives, their divorce. They can hardly see their kids because of the long hours. They hate the long hours. They have drama with that coworker and this coworker, but that coworker is, is all right. They hate the manager. They hate the manager's manager. They hate... It's all the same complaints, isn't it? Like, I feel like I'm in a loop. It's like... It's just funny how they're all the same types of complaints. Different people, different ages, same complaints. So this video is not about how we should escape these typical jobs because if you've, if you've already made it this far in the video and you've been following me, then you're probably already on this path that I am on as well where we know that this typical job is not the one. The nine to five is good for some people, but for us, we know it's not the one, but this video is not to escape the nine to five. It's to learn from the complaints from other people. So in our young lives, we're going to make mistakes and we're going to have to learn from our mistakes, but we don't have enough time to do all the mistakes ourselves. So we can't do all the mistakes ourselves and then learn from them, those mistakes. We need to also learn from other people's mistakes. You've heard it in these different types of jobs. What kind of complaints do you hear? Oh, uh, I have to work the weekends. Oh, I have to work long hours. And because I work long hours, I can hardly see my kids. Oh, I hate the manager. Oh, I hate waking up early for this job. Oh, I don't get paid enough. Listen to these complaints and learn from them. This is key because Again, as I mentioned, we cannot do all the mistakes in our lives. We don't have the time to make all the mistakes. So we need to learn from our mistakes and learn from others' mistakes. Because we've heard it, from the people that we've worked with, literally from 16 years old, from co-workers who are 16 years old and co-workers who are like 40, 50 year old plus. They both have relationship problems that they often complain about. And also young or old, they complain about not liking the manager or the fact that their schedule is not really their schedule. Their time is not their time. Their time is determined by the manager's manager. So this is why I mean by different people in different jobs, but the complaints at the foundation, these complaints are the same. And we got to do our best to learn from them so when people complain about not liking the manager or not liking their situation or the fact that their lives uh, their time is not actually their time maybe you don't want to start a business but to me when i hear those complaints that just really makes me driven that really puts me on 
It gives me energy. At times, I find it hard to sit down on my desk for 30 minutes and do some work. Uh, my business is me starting a YouTube channel and building an audience and then selling something to that audience. So at times, I find it like the hardest thing ever to actually sit down on my desk and concentrate for 30 minutes because um, my mind is used to the 20 year career of playing video games, busting to Instagram models and scrolling social media and YouTube. So because my brain is like distracted in that 20 year career, me sitting down at a desk, me sitting down at a desk to read a book, to, to work on a spreadsheet. What even is that spreadsheet? That just, that is so boring. Reading a book is so boring compared to busting to sexy naked girls on your phone screen. Simple as busting sexy naked girls on phone screens. I don't know what the other self-improvement YouTubers are telling you, but sexy naked, sex, sexy naked Instagram girls, mate, that is so much more fun than reading a book. Let's not, let's not lie to ourselves. So, when I find it hard to do the work, when I find it hard to just even sit down and concentrate, I think to myself, the complaints of the people that I work with, they run through my mind. The complaints from young people, old people, the complaints of not having their schedule actually be their schedule the fact that they have they have to wake super early for the job that they find unfulfilling these complaints run through me so they're actually quite useful they run through me and because i don't want to be like them i don't want to be complaining like them in the shopping center job when i don't feel like doing the work i remind myself of their complaints and suddenly um, even though I don't feel like reading a book, now I see the reason to read a book. Even though I don't feel like doing the work, the hours and hours of doing the work. And bear in mind, when you're starting your own business, when you want to start your own fashion brand, when you want to make that YouTube channel, that Instagram page, it's quite hard because, first of all, okay, yeah, you know you want to do it, but mate, where do you start? Where do you begin? Especially when you're already distracted from the porn you just watch. Where do you begin? Honestly, where do you begin? Do I research cameras? Do I research editing softwares? Do I... How do I communicate? How do I communicate in a way that is not boring? Which books to read? Like... Even not even just starting doing the work, but also figuring out what is it that I need to do. And because there's because you're watching these top seven ways to become rich, it's so overwhelming to even know where to start. So and not only that, not only is it hard to sit down at a desk. Not only is it hard to figure out what it is that you need to do, it's hard to give yourself the work and actually do it. Have you noticed that? You said you want to start that YouTube page, you want to start writing a script for that YouTube channel. You, you wanted to start on Friday and you overslept and you don't really feel good and you just don't feel like it. So, okay. Um, I'll just start on Monday and then Monday comes around and then you just keep putting it off out into the future when the timing is right, when I have enough money, when I have whatever excuse you may have for that day because I've had those same excuses. So. 
not only is it hard to sit down at your desk and also it's hard to figure out what step I need to work on at the moment, it's hard to even just give yourself the work. We can give ourselves the work and we'll probably procrastinate it. However, if we have a 3000 word essay for uni on something we don't even care about, best believe we're going to hand it on. We're going to hand in on that we're going to hand in that essay on time about something we don't even care about. That job that gives you mental health problems, the job that you don't find fulfilling, the job that you really hate, you will be 10 minutes early to that job. But when it comes to the things that you know are fulfilling, that YouTube channel, making music, a fashion brand, even though you find these things fulfilling, you are going to put it off. But that's weird, isn't it? An essay given to us by daddy and the job that we don't like. How come we could do those things on time? But when it comes to the things that we love, it's so easy to put it off. Learn from the stuff people complain about. Because we don't want to be like them, complaining in their jobs at the shopping center and complaining about the manager and the schedule and, oh, they're sleeping with who? And, oh, I don't really like them, but, oh, he's all right, but, oh, stay away from them. And the other work, drama, gossip. And we don't want to be like these people who are complaining. Because when we complain, it shows how helpless we are. The reason why I am very intentional with not complaining, if I complain, that shows I have no control. People complain because that's the only way they have control. They don't have control of their schedule. They don't have control on the fact that they have to wake up super early to this job that they don't like. They don't have control in that aspect. So they complain because that's how they have control. They don't have control over the long hours that they work. So what it is it what is it that did what is it that they do have control over? They can control about the gossip and the complaining. So listen to the complaints other people around you have. Learn from those mistakes because we can't, we don't have enough time in our own lives to make all the mistakes. So we need to learn from our mistakes as well as other people. And we don't complain because by complaining, it shows we have no control. Instead of complaining, we can use that energy to better our life situation, whether it's to start that thing that know that you know could possibly get us out of this job. By saving your energy, by not complaining, we can put that energy into something like the YouTube channel, something that you can find fulfilling. And at the same time, it can also get you out of this job. So save your energy of complaining and put it into the thing that you can find fulfilling. Thank you for being here. I wish you the best. Catch me in the shopping center. <laughs> and until next time, love.